Bible says he is the author of eternal salvation unto all that obey him. Obey Jesus Christ. Obey God. You know, Christ died for you, shed his blood for you, rose again from the dead for you, that you might be made new. Uh, the Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. The Bible says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Don't love the world or the things in the world. The Bible says that the world is perishing. The world is perishing. Perishing. Don't perish with the world. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord abides forever. Only Jesus Christ is going to abide forever. You need to be in Christ. Just as Noah was in the ark, you need to be in Christ. I'm sorry, can I ask you one more thing that you were saying as we walked by? When? I don't know. I just walked by and I okay. didn't understand you. Um, well, I was talking about, uh, you know, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Uh, I was saying if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Okay. The old has passed away. Behold, all things become new. Okay. Right? The Bible says that the grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord abides forever. Okay. All right? So you need to be in Christ. Uh, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you need to be, you need to be in Christ, just how Noah yeah. was inside the ark. Yeah. Jesus Christ is the ark. You need to be in Christ to escape judgment. He was right? written in a book as a fairy tale, fucker. Oh no, he was yeah, true. He was. Even atheist historians know Jesus was real. Yeah, that's right. Ancient Egyptians before Christ didn't know any better, right? Before he existed, hang on, hang on. Are you reading the, the King James Version of the Bible? I read the King James a version? lot of versions. Which word, which versions are you reading? Well, I read because if there's a version, that means it's been edited. Well, I read the You're Greek. Retarded. The Greek too. The Greek too. You need to repent, metanoia, change your mind, change your mind. You know. Change your mind about living in sin. Sin. Bible says the wages of sin is death. Death. Oh, don't be a sinner today. Turn from sin. Cast off your wickedness. Turn from drunkenness. Turn from drug using. Turn from homosexuality. Turn from adultery. Turn from lying. Turn from thievery. Turn from fornication. Sex outside of marriage. Oh, turn from sin today. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus can save from sin. From sin. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that, that the Lord... Uh, can rescue the fatherless. He rescues the stranger. He relieves the fatherless and widows. But the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. The way of the wicked, he turns upside down. You need your way turned upside down. You know, if you're a sinner today, you need a paradigm shift. You need to be made completely new. I do all of those. You know, when you're born again, uh, black becomes white, good becomes evil. You know, don't don't be a sinner today. Turn from sin. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Die with Christ. Be resurrected with Christ. Cast off, cast off your works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. 
Turn from sin, repent of sin, and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He can set you free. Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old has passed away. Behold, all things become new. Oh, uh, don't you want all things to become new today? I used to be a drug user and a drunk, but Jesus Christ set me free. Oh, uh, the Bible says, you know, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Therefore, cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. There's many people today making excuses, making provision for their flesh, saying, I can't obey God. You know, I go to church, but I can't quit my sin. Oh, I hear it all the time. You know, excuse after excuse after excuse of why they can't obey the words of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Cut it off and cast it from you. For it's better for one of your members should perish than your whole body to be cast into hell. Ah, uh, you know, don't be a sinner today. Turn from your sin and find life in the Savior, in Jesus Christ. The Bible says what? Should we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Do not litter. Do not coexist. Abortion. Do not smoke porn. Do not drink wheelchairs. I have babies every day when I masturbate. That's abortion. I smoke weed. You guys come in awesome. sin. Are you out here getting drunk I'm a tonight? fucking sinner saved by grace. Absolutely. Well, you're not saved by grace if you're a sinner. No, that's incorrect. Yeah, you're no. on camera. The Bible says, for sin will not have dominion no, over no, you. No, 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 no. Because you are not under which, law, which, but which under no. grace. Of the you're Bible a sinner. I'm a sinner. Of. We're both I sinners. I read Greek too. And I love you. Wait, which, which, I read Greek too. And I give you grace. And God Bible. gives you grace. And brother, we're all sinners, man. No, we're not. Absolutely no. every single one of us are sinners. You need sinners. to be a saint. You need to stop your sin. Give well, up your if drunkenness. You're a saint, and give, if you're not, I love you. You know, give up your drunkenness. We love you either way, brother. I'm, I'm not going to shake on being a sinner. All good no. Christians drink. Take one of these. No, they don't. No, no. You, <laughs> you need to be born again, man. You need to be born again. Right? I used, to be, again. A, I used to be. Well, if you're committing you sin, you're not born what? again. Well, that's untrue. Hey. Be, how do you become born again? Now, what Bible do you read? Well, I read, uh... Yeah, which one? No, I there's only the one. LX, no. no. There's only one. No, there's not. You can't read multiple Bibles. I read, I read various translations, okay. right? I read the... Buddy, I love you, and that's all you need to know. And you God loves you, and we're all good. And you, I appreciate you. No, and if I, you're a you sinner, you're not good. No, absolutely. I bet oh. you sin. I you know. sin. No, I don't. No. I bet yes. you oh, no. that's what you're wrong. Jesus yeah. said, sin no more. Uh, yeah, yes, right. sin no more. You're correct. Right. But you are a sinner. No. You are I not used God. To be. I used the to only be. one who did not sin was Jesus Christ himself. No. You are not Jesus I used Christ. To. I used to so sin. So you sin. No, I used you to sin. sin. No, you no, sin. No, no. And no, that's awesome. And I love you. And here you go. No. Yes, you sin. You're a sinner and I love you. Oh, you need to repent. Give up your sin. We love you anyways, brother. You know. This I, is stupid as fuck. Nobody's gonna listen. Because to you're doing this stuff, right? You I need do. to stop partying. This isn't, right? even, this isn't even what I do. You need to start partying, right? Don't get them to go back into that bar. That's He's dragging right. you to hell. Alcohol saved the world. What are you talking about? No, the Bible says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Who gives a shit? I don't. You don't care about Jesus with the with the. No, word? because I don't even believe in the Bible. God also said don't worship other gods. It's one of the Ten Commandments. Right. That means there's other gods. Maybe they're better. Who knows? Uh, we only got one Bible, man. We don't know. Well, you need to put your faith in Christ. Why? Because he rose from the dead. He has power over death. Because it was in a book? Dude, you're going to be six feet in the grave when you die. Who are you going to call on then? Well, uh, you know, I won't know any better. If you don't turn I to Christ now. I didn't know any now, better when I was born. I won't oh, you know better. You know better. No. You know you shouldn't be getting drunk. No. You know you shouldn't be looking at porn. I'm not drunk. I'm high. You know you know you shouldn't be high. <laughs> you know it. Weed. You got a conscience. You can't smoke a plant that God put on. No, it's 
sorcery. It's sorcery. My in the, girlfriend's taking me away. No, you need it's to. sorcery. You need to hear it, man. You need to hear the word of God. I don't know what Bible you're reading. Though. You need to turn. I read the Greek too. Which Bible? Though? I read uh, New King James, King James, the LXX. I look it up in the Greek. The New King James. You know why it says new? That means it's been revived. Oh uh, yeah. All translations have been translated. Ah, people, people, you need to stop resisting the Holy Spirit. You know, that's what Stephen says. He said, you always resist the Holy Spirit just as your fathers did, you do also. You know, don't make excuses for sin. Hi, I talked to you I, last year. Yeah, How yeah. How you doing, I'm man? good. How are you? Good. I How was right there. I remember you from last year. Oh, you okay. were like, I talked to you for five minutes. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, I remember. What's your name again? Kent. Kent, yeah. Welcome, Columbia. Amen. We're Amen. Do, we're doing it again. Tired Are you? Yeah, I'm okay. just tired. Of yeah, shows. yeah. So I'm gonna do something else. I'm maybe you know after this go around and preach the gospel. You know. Oh, it's all good. Bro. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Be careful out there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank Watch you. Appreciate it. You. You're following Jesus, right? Who else would you follow? Amen. Amen. Huh? Okay. You good. Faith. Good. Amen. Without it, Amen. Faith overcomes no the world. Hope. There's no hope. There's Amen. Faith. Amen. You need hope and faith. Exactly. Faith, hope, and love. Right. Love makes the world go right. Amen. And Amen. You just because you are. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Blessings. Blessings. You're good. Yeah, you too. I'll take your picture again. Oh, okay. Okay. I got a picture of your last year. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to smile, okay? Okay. Yeah, here I'll, I'll show the sign, too. Yeah. Put it this way. You have lights right behind. Got it. Got it. God bless you, brother. Good. Yep, will do. Jesus said, a good tree, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. And a bad tree, a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. You will know them by their fruit. Bible says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. You know, Jesus Christ sees it all. He watches it all. He knows what you're doing in secret. He knows your secrets. You know, just because your spouse doesn't know or your friends don't know or your co-workers don't know, that doesn't mean that God doesn't know. Uh, he sees it all. He sees all the sin. Are you committing sin today? If so, you can be set free by the cross of Christ. You could be resurrected with Christ. You could die with Christ. Have you been born again? Have you been born again or are you still committing sin? Sin. What do you think? I do this all day. I don't know. I've got a family and kids. Uh, I preach on my... You can't do this and make love. No, I have a five, you know, a normal job. Five day work week job. I do this on my spare time. Where are you? When you're out here doing all this, you don't hang out with your family? No, I did today. You know, I just gotta let you do this, or what did he say? Yeah, yeah, you know, he said. Instead of spending your evenings with your children, you are. Do this? Correct. Good yep. man. Yep. Visible respect. Yep. Said Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to save you from sin. Save you from sin. Jesus said, if any man wants to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. If any man wants to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. That's the words of Jesus. Ah, oh, have you denied yourself? Have you taken up your cross? See, that's the problem. Today,
People don't want to deny themselves. They give in to themselves. You know, they, they live by the rule that if it feels good, do it. Do you live like that? Do you live according to the lusts of your flesh? Bible says, for if we live according to the flesh, we will die. But if by the Spirit we put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Are you living according to the lust of your nope, flesh today? Are you living in sin today? You know, Jesus Christ can set you free. Bible says that the Messiah would come and proclaim liberty to the captives. The blind would see, the lame would walk. Are you blind today? You know, do you have ears to hear, eyes to see? Uh, if you could see the glory of the Lord. You know, His robe fills the temple. You know, you wouldn't do the things that you do. The drunkenness, the sexual immorality. The, yeah, the stop smoking weed. No. The Bible says the wicked glory in their shame. The wicked cheer at sin. Don't cheer at sin. Cheer for holiness. Cheer for righteousness. Amen. No, don't cheer for no. sin. Smoke marijuana. Stop It'll sinning. Help you. It'll Stop help sinning. You. It'll help you. Go put your faith in Christ. Repent. You know, I'm out here to help people. No, you need Jesus. Stop sinning. Put your faith in Christ. Turn to Jesus. Jesus Christ came to rescue you. You know, He came down to earth as a rescue mission, a rescue mission to save you from sin. Have you been saved from the power of sin? Jesus Christ not only saved from the punishment of sin, but also the power of sin. The power of sin. The Bible says sin will not have dominion over you because you are not under law, but under grace. Are you under the grace of God today? Or does sin still have power over you? No, stop sinning. It's not a sin. It grows from the earth. Weed is a sin. No. Stop it. it. Stop it or you're going to end up in hell. Turn. Turn from sin. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. Don't live the party lifestyle. Don't do it. You know, don't listen to ungodly gangster rap music. Don't live the drunken lifestyle. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. Abraham almost sacrificed his son Isaac. That's a picture of Jesus Christ, God sending His Son to die on behalf of you. Christ, Yeshua, is a fulfillment of the Scripture. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Just as Moses took the Israelites out of Egypt, Christ came to rescue you out of your sin. Carry you into the Red Sea through baptism unto the promised land. That's a picture of Christ. The Old Testament, the Old Scriptures, the Tanakh was a picture of Christ. The Torah, the Ketuvim, and the Nuvim was there to lead you unto Yeshua the Christ, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Uh, turn, turn to the Savior. You know, turn to the new covenant. Jesus said, 
This is the blood of the new covenant, which I shed for many. Just how Moses killed bulls and lambs. Even so, Jesus Christ was the lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Has Jesus Christ taken away your sin? Has Jesus Christ been your scapegoat? So far as the East is from the West, so far He removes our transgressions from us. Oh, I will not hide my sin. I will confess my sin. You know, purge me from sin. Purge me from iniquity. Purge me from transgression. You know, I will proclaim your name to the great assembly. Uh, proclaim his name, the name of the Lord. You know, Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can save you. You need to obey Jesus Christ. Turn from sin. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Here, take one of these. Yep, God bless. Thank you. Yeah, read the back. Yep. I have to do what I'm saying. Yep. Grace and peace. Say, so yeah, turn, turn from sin. Put your faith in Jesus. You know, don't be ashamed of Christ. Follow Christ today. You know, the Bible says the things which men esteem are an abomination unto God. The things that men esteem fucking oh, marijuana. It's bad. Kurt, the F word's bad too. How is it bad? How is it bad when it's a natural plant that God put on this earth? How do you figure? The Bible says drug users will be cast into the lake of fire. It's not a drug. Oh yeah, it is. It's only, it's only, it's only, a, it's only a drug that the government's labeled as a drug. Oh uh, no, I used to be. As, a... as far as stats as goes, drunk driving, it, it's got, it's, it's, there's no one has died from, as far as overdose on marijuana. Been, Why do you do it? You ever been fishing in the water? Because it's medicine. Because it's medicine. Why don't you turn to Christ and be healed? Uh, you still believe a believer in God? In Christ. What are you out here doing tonight? I'm having a beverage. You out here to get drunk? Having a beverage. Are you out here to get drunk? Be honest. No, I'm not. Be honest. I'm not. Are you commit? You had the F word come out of your mouth the other the I other said, second. I never said that. You didn't. You, Maybe I'm it was him. Right now, you, you said the F word. You need to quit. Okay, see, so you, you quit all your sin. He God, not, God forgives. I'm God just forgives trying every sin. I'm trying to guide him. He needs what, to quit what, porn, marijuana, you, alcohol, gay sex. You don't have ears to hear. Well, guy. You, oh, sir, come here. You, sir, come here. No, I'm not. You need to repent. You need to turn away from your sin. God forgives. God forgives every oh, sin. He said, unless you repent, you'll perish. You know. He said, if, you're, not doing it. if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. It's better that one of your members should perish than your whole body to be cast into hell. Oh, don't follow them. That's not. That's not. What, that's I know. Not, I know. That's not. That's not from. That's not. That'd be from. That'd be from. John chapter 13 verse 10 through 20. That's not from that. That's not from the Bible. Jesus said go and yeah it was. It's what Ma chapter? What verse? What the cut off your hand? Yeah. It's Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. Sermon on the Mount. You know the Bible says that you need to be born again. You need to die to your old life. To be resurrected to your new life. Come here sir. I know you have a little bit of uh, oh no don't go in there. Turn, turn, turn from sin. Put your faith in Jesus. What matters, you know? Going out and getting drunk at night doesn't matter. Jesus Christ matters. 
Jesus Christ. Or do you have the Word of God in your life? Have you been set free? Have you been changed? Or do you have the lust of this life? You know, the sin. Sin leads to hell. Sin leads to hell. If you're committing sin today, you need to repent. Turn from sin. Be saved from sin. That's why Jesus came. To save you from the power of sin. But most people don't want to be saved from the power of sin. They just want to be saved from hell. All you're going to be all right, though, are you? I mean, you're, you're fine, right? Been born again. I have the Holy Spirit living in me. Yeah, as long as you're all right. Are you a sinner today? Who is it? I'm not. Oh, really? I've been saved by so Jesus. The rest of your life, you're going to just. The Bible says that a man is caught in the cords of his own sin. He's caught in addiction to sin. I used to be addicted to sin, but not anymore. Jesus Christ freed me. He freed me. He set me free. Oh, and you can be set free as well. Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. It says that faith is the evidence of things unseen, the substance. You know, do you have evidence and substance in your life? Or do you have dead faith? A lot of people have Dead faith. Do you not know, O oh vain man, that faith without works is dead? Being alone. Many people have dead faith today. You know, they ask Jesus to come into their heart, but they keep on in sin. They may even go on to make YouTube videos saying it's all right to be a sinner. You know, they call it dead faith. Dead faith. Do you have dead faith today? Do you say that you believe in Jesus but still go out clubbing? Oh, that's wrong. That's dead faith. You know, don't have dead faith today. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Are, you're not out here to get drunk, are you? Uh, no, I'm watching the French play music in the bar. Okay. Yeah, you know, stay away from drunkenness, uh, right? All right, God bless you. Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Depart from evil. Depart from iniquity. Fear the Lord. By the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil, the Bible says. Oh, uh, don't mock. Don't mock God. Turn from sin. Stop being a sinner. Stop getting drunk. You know, you're on your way to destruction if you're out here to get drunk tonight. Turn from sin. Repent. Repent. Oh, uh, no, I don't have agreement with drunkenness. Turn from sin. Turn from sin. Stop your sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus. You know, Jesus Christ can save you from sin. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand.
John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every mountain will be brought low. Every valley will be raised up. Oh, make straight his path. Make straight the way of the Lord. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. You know, if you're prideful today, you need to be brought low. You know, if you're depressed today, Jesus can lift you up. He can lift you up. Humble yourself. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Jesus Christ. Be set free from your sin. Turn from sin. Stop the drunkenness. There you go. Come here. Ma'am, come here. Take one of these. It's a present. Oh, you don't want a gift? the present all right your choice your choice John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness and you say he has a demon the son of man comes eating and drinking and you say he's a glutton and a wine bibber why don't you have wisdom be justified through the wisdom of Christ you know if I come here with the lovey dovey message people won't accept it you know they won't obey they won't make his path straight but if I come as a voice crying in the wilderness, people don't accept it. Wisdom is still justified for children. Oh, uh, why won't you turn? Hear the wisdom of God. The Bible says that wisdom cries out at the crossroads. You know, the crossroads is the broad way, the narrow path. Get off the broad way. Get on the narrow road. Uh, but you need to fear God. Fear God. Fear God. For this is the beginning of wisdom. Don't be a fool today. Have wisdom. You know this music today? Yeah, you bet. you bet. What are you out here to do tonight? Oh, uh, I have some buddy of mine in town. Are you? Yeah. Gotcha. You out here to get drunk? I'll probably have a couple drinks. Yeah. Are you? I used to, you know, live as a drunkard and a drug user. Uh, and that lifestyle, you know, that's the sin that Jesus wants to save from. You know, Jesus died on the cross so you could die to your old lifestyle. You could be crucified with him and to be resurrected to new life. That's the whole point of the cross. So that you could be born again. Put to death your old life, the drunkenness, you know, the porn watching, the filthy language, the... Oh, I know, man. Amen. And what's your name? Maxwell. Maxwell, I'm yeah. Jim. Jim, nice to meet you. Nice man. to meet you. Yeah, I used to, you know, I used to profess to believe in Jesus, but I never obeyed, you know. Oh, yeah, he's always right by my side. Amen, amen. So yeah, make sure, you know, make sure you've repented of all your sin. You're not living in sexual immorality. You know, not living in weed smoking or drugs. No, I, I actually, I used to smoke weed for the longest time. Oh, man. Like, I did too. I mean, I'm, I'm 27 now, and I mean, I was doing, I started when I was like 16, so like 24. So yeah. it's been a few years now. Man. Good, you quit? Yeah, cool. no more, man. Okay. It's given, it, for some reason, when I would do it, it gave me like really bad anxiety. But I honestly feel like there's a reason why it did give me anxiety. I feel like it's Jesus' coming. Hey, oh, it's yeah. not for you, you know? 
Yeah, yeah. Can I give you one uh, word of warning? Yeah. Just to help you out, you yeah, know. For sure, brother. Uh, I, I appreciate all. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said this in Matthew 24. He said, uh, you know, if that servant uh, starts to say, "My master delays his coming," and starts to eat and drink with the drunkards, I will come come back and cut him in two, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. So, you know, if you start to eat and drink with the drunks... You start becoming like them. Right, exactly, exactly. So, I and I believe that. Too. Amen, amen. Like, if you surround yourself with these, it's like... Right, right, yeah, right. Sure. Amen, amen. Uh, so, yeah. Well, hey, man, I appreciate what you're doing, man. God bless you. I think that's awesome. God bless you, God yeah. God bless you, brother. Keep following the Lord, then. Will do, man. Yeah. Don't despise the Word of God. Many people hate hearing the Word of God. The Apostle Paul said, Do you despise the goodness, long-suffering, and forbearance of God, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? Oh, repent! Repent! Luke 13.3 says, Repent! Repent! Are you living a life of sin today? Abortion, uh, coexist. It basically uh, says that all ways can get you to heaven. So, you know, just accept it uh, when all ways won't get you to heaven. You know, uh, marijuana, porn, drunkenness. You know, having a sip of wine is not wrong. Uh, but getting drunk, not being sober, is a sin. Uh, and then homosexuality. You know, the Bible says that uh, drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. You know that? Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what Paul said. You know, don't be a sinner today. Turn from sin. Repent of sin. What does it mean to repent? What does it mean to repent? It means to change your heart, change your mind about sin. Cigarettes are bad for you. You know, it's a bondage, it's addiction. You can be set free from addiction. You can be set free from all addiction. Cigarettes, drug using, you know, pornography, masturbation, you can be set free. You will know the truth and the truth shall make you free, Jesus said. Bad, sin, it's bad, stop it. Turn from sin. Turn to Jesus. Oh, you need to stop it. The Bible says to stop it. Stop sin. Turn from sin. You know, don't be a church-going hypocrite. A lot of Catholics and Protestants are hypocrites. They go to church. They say they believe in Jesus. But they don't obey Jesus. Now it says that he's the author of salvation to all that obey him. Obey Jesus. You gotta obey Christ. You know, don't obey the devil. Don't give in to temptation. Turn from sin. Bible says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. You get paid to do this? No. Yeah. I got a new life. I've been born again. My old life has been put to death. And now I'm born again. I have new life. So yeah, I threw away my old one. The one where I got drunk and, you know, passed out. 
committed sin. I threw that life away, uh, put it on the cross with Christ, and now I live in a new way. And Jesus said, uh, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So, you know, you got to obey Jesus, right? So yeah, I'm obeying Christ. Obeying Jesus by preaching the word. The Bible says to preach the word. Preach peace, the, brother. Are you a uh, you come in peace. you come in sin? Peace. There's no peace for the wicked. There's oh, there's no peace for the wicked, the Bible says. You know, turn from sin. Turn from sin. Repent. You know. Don't dance to this ungodly music. Don't dance to this ungodly music. This is ungodly. It's ungodly. It's unholy. You know, this is the devil's music right here. Repent. Turn from your sin. Forsake your sin. Don't live the party lifestyle. Oh, the party lifestyle is going to lead you into hell. We come here to sin. I know. Stop it. Stop it. You need to put your faith in Jesus. Be born again. Not, no, you're not going to. You're going to end up in hell. Turn. Turn from your sin. Stop making excuses. Oh, there's lots of people in hell that Jesus loves. What's up, Jim? How you doing, man? I'm okay, Paul. How are you? Doing good. good. Turn to Christ. Repent of your sins, Paul. I know. That's why I still tell you. Turn, turn from sin. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. Stop sinning. Put your faith in Jesus. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Jesus. A lot of people ask for a sign. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. Oh yeah. You need to repent. Turn to Christ. Thanks for being thanks for being humble. Here, let me give you something. Come to read. God bless. Yeah, Jesus Christ. He died for you. Humble yourself. Accept the Word of God. You know, admit that you've been wrong. Admit that you don't have the right way. Admit that your way is not the right way. Uh, turn. Turn, people. Turn to the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died. Why? Why did Christ die? So that you could go on sinning? No. That's what everybody thinks. Jesus Christ did not die to give you a license to sin. He died to save you from sin. From the power of sin. The Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 6, What shall we continue in sin? that grace may abound, God forbid. How can we who died to sin live any longer therein? 